baadhi ya mashirika ya kijamii yametoa msimamo kuhusu na kupinga vikali basi matumizi ya vyakula ama serikali basi kuruhusu matumizi ya vyakula vya GMO wakilisho mashirika hayo wanasisitiza kwamba wakenya wanata na wataalamu mbalimbali hawakuhusishwa basi katika kuja ama kuamua kwamba waweze basi kutumia vyakula hivyo na baraza la mawaziri humu nchini baraza la mawaziri basi liliafikiwa mzuhu huo chini ya uongozi wake rais William Ruto mapema Jumahili mamlaka za kilimo nchini Tanzania zimeripotiwa basi kuongeza umakini zaidi dhidi ya wagizaji au ongizaji haramu wa mazao yaliyobadilishwa na vinasaba au kipenda GMO kutoka nchini humu katika taifa hili la Kenya waziri wa kilimo wa Tanzania Hussein Bashe amesema kwamba kwa sasa Tanzania haiko tayari kwa teknolojia ya GMO na kama vile mwanahabari wetu Dole Murigi Mbuvi anavyotueleza idadi kubwa ya wakenya wameelezea hofu kuhusu usalama wa chakula hicho kwa mamilioni ya wakenya Marufuku ya muda mrefu ya vyakula vinavyozalishwa kutumia teknolojia ya GMO ambayo yaliondolewa siku mbili zilizopita kutokana na kile kinachodaiwa kuwa ni kukabiliana na uhaba wa chakula nchini humo imezoa hali ya wasiwasi miongoni mwa Kenya. Uamuzi huu unajiri wakati zaidi ya Wakenya milioni 4.2 wanakabiliwa na bala njaa na bei ya juu ya chakula kutokana na ukame unaoendelea. Marufuku hayo yaliweka na baraza la mawaziri ya Rais Mstaafu Mariemu Mwai Kibaki tarehe 8 Novemba mwaka alfumbili kumi na mbili kufuatia hofu ya usalama wa chakula hicho kwa miaka kumi iliyopita imekuwa ni marufuku kuagiza au kuruhusu kilimo cha chakula cha chimu mashirika kadhaa ya kijamii hayajafurahi hatua ya maamuzi ya serikali ya rais William Ruto na kudai kuwa hayakuhusisha wa Kenya this is why we are asking because this decision was quickly rushed and we did not see the consultation with mama mboga we did not see the consultation with the mutu wa kiosk We have not seen the consultation with the border border people. If any member of these groups has been consulted, then it's, it's good that we are informed. What we are talking about when we talk about public participation, I'm not saying invite me and ask me as a time, I'm saying we need to give every Kenyan a chance to decide on issues that affect their future, on issues that affect their health, on issues that affect how they feel. Why are they rushing to lift the ban that has been in existence for 10 years? Do they have any reason why? Are there scientific proofs or studies that have been done so that they can base their argument on that? Hata hivyo wa Kenya wameendelea kutoa maoni tofauti kufuatia ufufuzo wa kula vya GMO. Wengi wakisema kwamba vitaleta hatari kubwa ya afya kwa Kenya. In a few years to come, we will not be dealing with issues za chakula kuwalesa ama starvation for that matter. We'll be dealing with people dying cause of lifestyle diseases ama mgonjwa zingine kama cancer which we ought to be avoiding at this point so it feels like it's an easy solution but we're going to have a bigger problem in the future demo iko sawa as much as uh, scientists wa majaribu ku you know then today we need experts in these things and kama wana wana it's good for uh, human use then why 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 should they introduce it kwa sababu hiyo tutakuwa achieve tukuwe na food at the end of the day. Siku ya Jumatano taasisi ya kitaifa kuhusu usalama wa bayoteknolojia ilisema kuwa tayari mbegu za aina mbalimbali ya mahindi zimeidhinishwa. Mahindi hayo yatakuwa na uwezo wa kuhimili ukame, wadudu na magonjwa. Lakini kulingana na mashirika hayo ya kijamii, bodi ya NBA haina uwakilishi kutoka kwa kulima, watumiaji na mashirika ya kijamii. Majority of the foods that are foods that are produced in Kenya, 80% of that is produced by smallholder farmers and it is important to get the statistics right. They use about 75 to 90% of local indigenous seeds. So we do not have a seed problem. The problems we have are structural The government needs to make sure that they provide water, they provide um, uh, infrastructure, roads, so that we are able to move food from one region to another. Hata hivyo mashirika hayo yanataka marufuku hayo kurejeshwa mara moja na mtakato ushirikishi uanzishwe ili kuangalia suluhisho za muda mrefu ya masuala yanayoathiri usalama wa chakula na ya kilimo nchini. Tuna it, tunasema kwamba tunataka serikali yetu i reconsider the decision uh, return the ban precaution is very important si lazima tuende tukimbie kwa sababu tunataka ku, kuleta uh, i, mahindi na unajua wale ambao hata wanaleta mahindi ni kwamba italetwa nyingi kutoka uh, nchi zingine na wanataka 
profit at the end of the day. Dolly Murikimbovi, Dira Yahoo TV, Nairobi.